Hi, I'm Mai Thompson with Smooth Transitions. Today we have with us Steve and Nora from Canyon Winds. Um, Steve, can you tell us a little bit about your community? Sure, I'd love to. Canyon Winds is a uh, really unique community. We're nestled in the foothills of East Mesa in the Lacendus area. So we've got spectacular views of the valley. Our community has independent living as a separate building and assisted living memory care as another building. So we're a team, Nora and I are a big team. Yes. Um, and we work separately, but yet together. And a good example is we have a couple that have been living in independent living. Yesterday, they moved to assisted living. It's an easy transition, but our residents love the separate communities and their environment. And Smooth Transitions <laughs> made the move with this couple next door to assisted living. Yes, it was perfect. I mean, you guys help. It's, it's great. The whole purpose of this whole business layout is for them to live independently and, and enjoy their independence while they can. And then once they're needing assistant, assistance, then do we transition into assisted living and get the help there while maintaining as much as independence as possible. So it's, it's great. It's a really, it's a really good model. Yeah. So can you tell me some unique features that you have that your, that your residences love? Take it, baby. Well, for <laughs> us, um, gosh, the first thing that comes to mind is, um, the, the building itself is beautiful. As soon as you enter in, we have chandeliers, the colors are beautiful. It just really just encompasses who, what the building is. It's just, it's a beautiful building. And then of course, you know, you're just going to get some really great care. Um, it's, the, it's very family oriented. Um, everyone feels like family, everyone's treated like family and they all are, we love them all, but, um, I'm just really proud of what this company has built itself up to. Don't you agree? I, I agree. It is. We were talking about that driving up here. Yeah. How great it is to work for uh, Canyon yeah. Wins. Our executive directors, we have separate executive directors, mm -hmm. and we're, we are all a big team there. Yeah. It's really, really wonderful. The, the independent living has got 126 apartments, and it's one bedroom, two bedrooms, and studios. And each apartment has its own balcony. Mm -hmm. Each apartment has a storage closet. Each apartment, and this is one of our highlights, each apartment has a full-size washer and dryer, so most communities do not. Full-size kitchen, granite throughout, beautiful wood plank tiled floors, and uh, we have all the amenities there, our three meals a day, mm -hmm. um, probably like a lot of our competitors, but it's height and it's um, visuals of the valley and the mountains are just spectacular. It's a beautiful place to be. Yeah. Yeah. And the you... warmth, and the warmth and the feeling yes, there are feeling so good. It. When you walk in, you can, you know, you can feel that when you go into any community, mm -hmm. whether it's warm, it's like houses, home. yeah, yeah, it's really, yeah. you know, both our communities are that way. Yeah, and then once you go into assisted living, you lose that full kitchen. Um, you don't have that laundry room, but, you know, you're upsizing in the sense that we do the laundry for you. You right. know, all the meals and snacks are provided for you. So you are medication management taken care of for you. So you just worry about getting yourself up, go see friends and do activities, <laughs> go on outings. It's just, it's great. It's it is great. great. Yeah. And I agree. When we um, moved in your residences, when just to come back and visit with them, they are so happy. Yes. Um, they feel like they are at a place where they can have the independence <laughs> and do a lot of social activities. Um, just even when I, when I walk in, the receptionist is very, very nice. Yes. She's always offering us warm cookies yeah. or just yes. <laughs> yeah. homemade um and so, yeah, I would totally agree. It's yeah. beautiful. The service is amazing. And, you know, just even the residences, just, you just do feel like at home yeah. when you're there. So, and, great job. Yeah, and my, when you guys, I mean, you're you're my go-to when it comes to moving because Me too. you absolutely do everything. You, you pack them up and it's basically, you take their home and then replicate it in their new home. And then afterwards, you know, seeing them the next day after you guys have done the job, it's so much peace of mind. You can see it in yes. their eyes. There's so much calmness. They're ready. They're, they're, their home is ready. It's already set up. You know, they're not having to worry about having boxes all over the place. Mm -hmm. It's just, there's a calmness and it's, it's worth it, I think. Thank so that's you. why definitely that we use, that's why we use yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you. I really appreciate it. So typically when we move a resident in, we are helping them with the, everything for the move, the pre-move, the move, and then setting them up. But then after the move, we've often wondered what it's like for the residences, maybe in the first two or three days that they've moved in. We have a resident uh, that is a move-in kind of like coordinator, like a friend. 
and she comes and meets with our residents and orientates them. And we do some of that too from our end, but as a resident, she's there to help them with the move in, help them show them where everything is, how to do this, how to do that, how to, you know, just make them a, a feel at home. Mm -hmm. So we, uh, our first day though, we also have housekeeping that makes a personal visit. Nice. And they find out what their specifics are with cleaning their apartment, giving them a timeline of when they're coming. And then I usually do a check the day after they move in Mm -hmm. Just to make sure everything's well, and we get that same feeling when Mai's moved them in, Smooth Transitions has moved them in, that they're at ease. They're doing yes. great. That <clears throat> resident that will go in that next day to do that introduction as far as what our building is about, you know, they'll offer, do you need help in your apartment? And nope, I'm set. You know, they're good to go. <laughs> they're ready. They've already been moved. Everything's been said. Everything's been hung. It's their, it's their home. Now we can move on to going outside into the community and getting to know the residents and doing activities and enjoying the rest of the building, not having to worry about um, what's inside their apartment. Yeah, so it's, yeah. It's great. Good, so can you tell me um, what it's like right now, what kind of safety precautions you have for COVID? <clears throat> yeah, so happy to announce we're finally allowing outside visits. Yay! <laughs> So they are based on appointment. Of course, we're trying to bracket them into a time frame so everyone gets, you know, a fair visit with masks, you know, temperature checks, social distancing inside of the building, you know, of course, you know, sanitizing and cleaning all the, the common areas, doorknobs, you, you know, just housekeeping is, you know, going crazy on that. And then, you know, administration part of it, sending emails to family to update them, educating our care staff mm -hmm. about the latest policies and and where we are in the next step. So we're getting there. <laughs> we are, and it's it's always changing, but you know, it's it, we're in a positive move. Good. Good. Okay. And our independent living is a little bit different because we weren't in the same kind of restrictions by the state mm -hmm. to lock down. So for the first two months of the COVID outbreak, we had dining services brought to the residents. To show you the quality of what our chef did, he, he did not do disposable plates. They did full plated nice. with the resort style um, tops to the, oh, you know, they just went bent over backwards for our residents. So they wouldn't feel that change. It's just, it was yeah. so much change. They at least kept that. They kept a lot, yeah. yeah. And so after 56 days, we opened up dining again. Now we're, dining is social distance, so it's changed a little bit. Uh, family and friends are not allowed in dining yet, mm -hmm. but they will be at one point. All our activities have been open for a couple months. Wow. We uh, have a maximum of 10 people per activity. But the pool's open, so every single day at nine o'clock, the residents are out doing a class, and movie theater's open, activities. Uh, we're doing, mm -hmm. we've been doing tours for months. Right. We've, had, we've had other folks move into our community from other communities that just couldn't take the lockdown anymore. Mm -hmm. Because that one building has independent assisted memory care, or yeah. our separate, gives us a lot of freedom and the residents have that freedom so yeah nice nice so if someone wanted to learn more about your community what's the best thing they could do to reach out to you call us, call us yeah call me anytime call me call Nora yeah okay. Canyon Winds retirement living in East Mesa and you can always call independent living assisted living ask for Steve or Nora we're the two. We're <laughs> it. You're stuck with us. That's it. We're the team. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. Thanks for having us. Thank you so much, Mike. Yeah, we Thank appreciate you. it.